Using Revit, I can create custom content at any time. In this example, I want to place a north arrow on my title block, but the north arrows that come with the software don't match exactly what I need. So to create one from scratch, I'll go to my File menu, New, and I want to create a new annotation symbol. There are different templates that I can use to create my annotation, uh, from door tags, window tags, to elevation marks, but I just need generic annotation. What this does is opens up a template for me, gives me some reference lines for working, and some notes for using this template. Now in Revit, I can draft very much like any other drafting program. I'll go ahead and grab my Lines tool, and just draw a circle here about a half inch in diameter, and we'll put some lines through it. Notice Revit has uh, snaps that make it easy to quickly lay this out very accurately. And now I just want to take this top line and I want to thicken it up a bit. So I'll go into my Settings menu and Object Styles, and I want to create a new category for the north line. From here I'm going to give that a projection of 7 or a thicker line weight of 7. Once that's done, I can apply that north line to it, and there you can see we have a much thicker line. Next thing I want to do is add a big end to the top of this. So I'll grab my text tool, and right now the only text height I have is 330 seconds. I want something just a little bit bigger. So I'll go into Properties, I'll hit the New because I want to create a new text, and duplicate 330 seconds. So it'll be the same, we'll just give it a new name. So I called it quarter inch, but I actually want to change the height for that one to quarter inch as well. And let's change the font to Arial Black. Now that I've created the new text height, I'm going to go ahead and place that right above my north arrow. Put a nice big N in there and center it. So there it is, I've added the N. It's at the text height that I want. It's positioned nicely on my uh, north arrow. I'll go ahead and save this file. And I'm going to put it right in the directory with all my other annotation. So we'll just call this north arrow. And it's an RFA file. That's a family file inside of Revit. And we'll close out of it. Now to place it on my title block, I need to load it. So I'll go to my file menu load from library and load family. Go back into that same directory. There's the north arrow that I created. Now it's loaded in and from my drafting category I can grab symbols and notice that north arrow is now loaded and available to me to use at any time in this project. So we'll zoom in close here and just drop that on the sheet. So with Revit, it's very easy to create custom content when you need it. It's very much like drafting in any other program. Easy to create, easy to save and use on other projects.